Hello, and welcome to the Bellhop's Tabletop. I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Joining me tonight is my wife, Deanna. I'd like to welcome you to the Bellhop's Tabletop. On our tabletop tonight, we will be playing some Gloomhaven. Well, actually, Deanna will be playing some Gloomhaven, and I'll be helping, moderating, playing the bad guys, whatever. DMing, not really, because I don't get to make any decisions. But I'll be watching as she plays through the Mind Thief solo scenario, which is something you get out of this book of solo scenarios, which I think you could get with the Kickstarter. If not, you can pick it up at Con. Cephalo Fair will be selling it at Con. I don't think your local game store can get this. This is a set of solo scenarios for each of the different classes in the game. 17 classes, I think, are on the game. Um, I don't know if you caught our last stream, but if you did, Deanna has tried this mission once and failed. Um, these are extremely difficult missions. The designer in the book itself actually tells you to read the scenario ahead of time and study for it. We didn't do that. We just jumped right in. So that was our learning game. So now that Deanna's learned what's going to happen in the scenario, so she knows Terrible what to things. expect. Although she didn't see everything that happened in the final room, so it's there's true. still some surprises. Uh, she's since gone shopping and retooled her deck, so we're going to see if it goes a little better this time. So again, we're the, the Tabletop Bellhop team. Um, normally we answer your gaming and game night questions. So if you've got a question for us, consider us a Dear Abby for Gamers. We're here to answer your gaming game night questions, which you can send to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or hit me up on social media, Tabletop Bellhop everywhere, or head to our webpage, tabletopbellhop.com. And at the very top, you'll find a spot, just click on Ask the Bellhop and you'll get a nice web form you can fill out. To be honest, the web page is the best place to ask. That way I don't miss it with all the social media. It doesn't get filtered by Facebook or something silly like that. Um, on tabletopbellhop.com, you can find all kinds of things, including answers to other people's questions. Like most recently, we talked about how to host a charity board game event or what tabletop gaming event, what kinds of things you can do to raise money for charity, all because Extra Life's coming up soon. But it's not just about Extra Life. So that's one of the, the more recent episodes. Before that, we talked about Games that are great to play with a mixed table, so you have gamers and non-gamers all sitting down together, to have a game that's simple enough for the non-gamers, but fun and engaging enough for the gamers. Example game off that list would be uh, Imhotep Builders of Egypt. So before you go, make sure you hit uh, the thumbs up, the subscribe, the like, the plus one, the whatever you can hit, that tells content creators like us that you like what we've been doing. So now we are going to jump into Gloomhaven scenario number, they're not numbered, Mind Thief Solo. Uh, obvious spoilers, though really they do tell you to study for this one. So I, this is probably our most spoiler-free um, Gloomhaven game ever, but we might have unlocked some items you haven't seen before, or I don't know, I don't know what else. This is all in there. Um, I do want to thank everyone who's in our chat room. A bunch of you are joining us after our failed attempt. Thank you for sticking around. Also, thank you all for being our guy in the chair and helping us out when we make mistakes because it seems almost inevitable in this game. I don't think we played one scenario where we didn't slip up at least one little thing. Uh, just a note from Bo Bob the Naked Mule in our chat room. You can get this via PDF, so that's probably the way a lot of people have it. We personally picked this up at our origin, so which was pretty cool. Then you wouldn't have the item deck? Yeah, that's true. You wouldn't have the item deck then, I would assume. We so get a cool. nice little item deck. So if you have any questions in the chat, please feel free to ask. Uh, again, I'm Mo. I'm going to hand everything over to Deanna, so she's going to plan through this. You are playing the Vermling Mind Thief level 9, maxed out. So. Yep. so we are using the Gloomhaven Helper app. That thing is fantastic. That's mainly we do this for two reasons. One, it means a lot less clutter on the board and a lot less cards to keep track of. But it lets you people watching see what's going on and like see what Deanna's hit points are at a glance. See what monsters are up and what their hit points are at and stuff like that. Have so, you guys seen ooze? We have the we have the helper app because of yes, ooze. ooze. If if we fight ooze, we use the helper app. That, that is one of the reasons. So I am going to stay zoomed out while Deanna is planning, and I'm going to zoom in if I assuming I remember when um, we're going to go through the action. I know on full screen you can see this pretty good. Uh, if anyone in the chat notices, like remind me to like twist the monsters so they're not sideways to the camera where they're all paper thin, so you can't see them. I'll try to remember to do that. You've already entered them all in at this point? Yeah, I've well, I haven't entered no. in the ones we are going to fight, so I want to do that once we started the stream. Okay. So what do we have for Vermling Scouts? We have two, five, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
Okay, and one thing I do have to do because of the scenario is I need to adjust their level down to four. Now, since I know we've just done this, so we all know what's going on, but for those of you joining us for the first time who haven't watched this fail, I will go through the scenario setup. So the scenario's name is Rodent Liberation. Uh, requires Mind Thief level five, as well as a couple other things like Prosperity and Gloomhaven has to be three, and two characters have to have retired. That's for every scenario in this book. Your goal is to kill all enemies, which I don't think I actually pointed out last time. Help us! You wake from a nightmare in a cold sweat. Somewhere deep beneath the city, your rat allies are in pain and they need your aid. You grab your gear and race through the dark tunnels of the sewer, heading, heeding the swarm's psychic call. They've been imprisoned by some malicious force and their will is being used in a dark ritual. You must set them free. The calls are getting close when you run into an open chamber and encounter a group of your brethren, sickly looking vermling scouts holding on an odd, holding an oddly defensive position to protect the door behind them. You ask what they're doing here, and their words are also defensive. Well, you have no qualms about slaying them to aid your friends. Special rules. All Vermling Scouts are one level lower than the scenario level, which is what I just adjusted. And you open door one, which, oops, I forgot to switch the doors back to close. <laughs> I don't know where they, can you grab the closed door from over there? Not that it really matters. Doors are closed. Something will happen when you open the door. Something will happen. There is a number one. I'm not going to bother throwing out the number one token, but there is a number one on this door. So something will happen when that door is open. And now, cue sewer sound effects. Yeah, hold on a second. I just have a call. Cue me grabbing some hot chocolate. So today's K-Cup review is Mint from Laura Secourt. It tastes pretty much like an after eight, which is pretty much what I expected. It's actually really good. That's really good. Oh man. Oh yeah, this may be my favorite K-Cup hot chocolate. Laura Secord Mint. So it's my mood to heal card, and I was like, wow, I really should suck that in. Yeah, you probably want to be able to heal. Yeah, you know, it's like I've gotten spoiled by having a Sawbones around. <laughs> yeah, normally in our Gloomhaven campaign, I play Sawbones. We normally play four players, so those of you watching us here on Twitch, we are here. We try to be here every Friday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, right now, Eastern Daylight Time, that's about to switch in about two weeks to Eastern Standard Time. But we'll be here at 8.30. We play a four-player scenario of Gloomhaven with two of our friends, Tori and Kat, um, sometimes known as K-Tor. We're talking about possibly taking next week off. Yeah, we may take next week off, but no one's going to see this until after that. That's That's just, no, it'll be the day before. It comes out Thursday. We may not do it next week because we are all taking part in Extra Life this year, which is on November 2nd and 3rd, which is a huge marathon gaming event. Um, I'm helping to organize the local Windsor efforts. We're going to be at the CG Realm, which is going to be open for 33 hours. No, I don't expect to be up for 33 hours, but that's why we're going know. as a team. Um, but that's also why the store is open for 33 hours, so that people can get 24 hours of gaming in in the window. And actually, you can all go home and take a nap in between. Really looking forward to that. Just let me know when you're ready. Like, I'm punch good. in your numbers. All right. Punch in your numbers. I'm just chatting so that there's something happening on the stream. I know. I appreciate that, because uh, while you were rereading stuff, I had a thought and decided to swap it one of the cards. Alright, we are starting. Round one. Draw. They are super slow. Targeting two. Go for them. They are not moving. But they're attacking range four. Oh, range four. So, so I don't really think there's everywhere. anywhere you can... Oh, you could get to a corner and the ones in the back corners couldn't hit you. Yeah, okay. Alright, I am going to zoom in. If you're in the chat, notice I forget to zoom when we get to movement of bad guys. Please give me a heads up and I will Well, I'm going to do the that. same starting move I did last time. I'm going to explode this guy. All right. Splat! One vermling dead. Screeching and hideous to, rat filled uh, fury. Attack the adjacent one, so number 10. Number 10. Which died just yeah, exploded. I forgot the little thing. Seven. Number seven just went splat. Number 10. Number 10. It's going to take some collateral damage. It's going to take. Three. It's a oh, rolling, no, modifier. rolling modifier. Oh. Does it just miss? 
I don't know. I don't think I've ever pulled that particular combination before. I don't know. Modified miss. A modified I miss. Think I think that's a miss. miss. Yeah, I think it misses. I think that's a miss. Where are you doing your? Can you, people see your cards in the screen? I can move it and do yeah, it. Yeah, do them up there. It's more exciting. Just that way people can see. It. They could Roll see it before. Modifier and a miss. A miss. So that's a miss. Okay, and on number five. You rolled right into a whiff. That stinks. He's immobilized. Number five is immobilized. And number five is alive. <laughs> I hit it for two. Two. Definitely started better last round. Yeah, I know. And then that's number two. Number two for four. Two, three, four. Yeah, you definitely did better last game. Oh, well. Start over. No. Yeah. Okay, I have one attack left. I'm going to... Which one of those did I hit? Number two took them all. Is number two is number two one that's mobilized? No, okay. number five is mobilized. It doesn't matter. So I will range. attack number two. They're attacking range. Oh, that's true. I will attack number two. It's dead. Okay, ice is infused. What is number two? I can't actually see it from this here. This one. <laughs> ice is infused. You got no orc to soak your damage this time either. I know. Okay. I'm going to use my invisibility cloak. Bam! Grab the invisible dude. Really? Oh, He's in two cool. pieces. Is he right now? Oh. That's all. Never mind. He needs to be super bad. He's in pieces. Broken. Yeah, there we go. There we I go. Suddenly Bam. Into a it looks similar. Can you still see it on the chat? I hope not. <laughs> okay, so. Time? Uh, invisibility cloak. Um, going to use my mind examine potion to get this card back. I am done. All right, the Vermlings look around confused. They don't see anyone to focus on. All they see is an obstacle in the corner, and end their turn. But I probably should have marked you as invisible. I don't know what what symbols are invisible. I don't even know what symbol is invisible. Yeah, you want it you wanna go late. Yeah, I'd like to go as slow as possible yeah. so that I go after them. I don't know what symbol is invisible. Is this invisible? I don't know. And I don't Upside down, I think that's what it is. I just can't my eyes aren't good enough to actually see it on the app. Okay, oh oh. No, that's like an act. Yeah, that's it. I did find the right one. You need people to be able to see your hand for a solo stream. Right? And then they can see what you're thinking well. about. I'm just thinking, I wish I had more melee attacks. I have an awful lot of range, range attacks. Just rethinking every choice I ever made, picking my cards. Can't go back <laughs> and swap them out now. Yeah, I would totally would have taken totally different stuff while well, loving Basically. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'll do this. And do this. Yeah, I don't know. Two. We haven't been hit yet. Can't nope. say anything bad about that. Oh, I can't say anything bad about that. I'm just trying to. I wish I wasn't doing that. I don't want to do that. 
These guys go pretty slow. I noticed last time. I and I'm scared my action of 73 might not be slow enough. It feels weird talking about the numbers because you usually never say that. Yeah, it's true. Right? You're like, shh, you're not supposed to. Um, so, that'll guarantee that I go. Alright. Really good control. Ready. Bra. Yep, they go before you. And still look around confused. Oh, the immobilized would have worn off last round, but that mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Look around really confused. They were going to rush in, but they don't know where to go. Then you go. Okay, I go one, two, three, there, so I'm using that as a generic move, which becomes a three because of my comfortable shoes, and then I am putting on my augment, which allows me to do one of the last things, and I am going to attack number Number eight, full health. Number eight has full health? Does yes. number eight have six health? Well, that is, that full. is full health. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. So I do two. And you are now up here. You should have reshuffled. Yes. Shit. You're right. Cheating. Because I drew a miss on the first round. You're cheating. Oh, well. So do Shuffle it. now. And draw again. I'm also no longer using it. <laughs> I have to share more food pictures of my gaming account and TV. Really? <laughs> I highly doubt that's a secret. That's I do. Alright, so I just leave this for next round. I use it for this one. What do you want to do? Use it for this one. Why wouldn't you? This is your first time you've had to draw since then. Okay. Right? So, so you did one? In one instead. Yeah. <laughs> That's lame. Your invisibility didn't help much. No. Well, it did. Yeah, I think that's it. Time to not have my fidgety hands in the screen. screen. <laughs> the camera goes like right to here. Like, I'll go next turn before that. They've already gone next turn. So. Okay. Are you planning your next round or is this still? I'm done. I'm going on to You're the next done. round. All right. Next round. Is there a way to get rid of the silly cheer to be number one? I don't want to see it anymore. I really don't. So yeah, we're doing some kind of dragon side quest on our main team. We just got through the mountain pass. We're going to move on to whatever's next. So I guess we had to go back to Gloomhaven in between. If you did this. 
Yeah, and people had to level up, so yeah, we were going back up. anyways. We, yeah. we talked about at the end of the last stream. We had to go back anyways because I think two people leveled up at the end of the Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. And we draw. They are moving in and attacking, but you're going first. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to. Bob the Naked Mule says it's a great story pack. See what happened to us? One of the problems we're having is I forget number five. We forget what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Yep, yeah, number five. I'll talk about it while you're thinking. Okay. Um, I do four damage to number Dead. five. Dead. Huzzah. Here, put a coin out. <clears throat> so I'm looking at the app. Uh, I don't want coins. Um. And then I will. Target number, I think that's a nine. Yep. He's immobilized. That's not it's a bad thing. And not so bad when he's That's not a bad there. thing at all when and they're going to move. for five. Ooh, close to killing them, too. Mm. And uh, what are they doing this round? They are moving in and attacking. Okay. Which are, two of them are just going to sit there and swing at you. All right. Mm. So I'm gonna go one, no, two, three. No, get you away from one of them. And I will attack number ten. You kill him, then you don't have to worry about getting attacked this round. For three. That's not gonna do it. Nope. Okay, now I gotta do some pinching maneuvering. So I'm going to. I'm going to cover two cards. Then I'm going to use the attendant on the first half. Only one of them is going to be capable of attacking this round, right? Mm -hmm. Hit me is number eight. Talk a little louder. The one that's going to hit me is number eight. He has to move in to attack me. So if I summon my skeleton, he can soak that for me instead. Possibly even live through it. Which is insane. Where did I put him? Thank you. So, well, whoosh. Summon. What's his health? Health, he has three points. Okay. I put your summon. Wait a minute, can't out. 10 hit me too? So he's gonna move up. No, because I'm gonna move two. Right. Oh, it's this one. I did it wrong. Because I'm gonna move two. There you go. There That's you go. better. That's better. I'm like, <laughs> I did it wrong. That's better. Okay. Are you dumb? Oh, uh, yeah. I am. So number eight's gonna rush up and hit the orc. That's eight, right? That's ten. No. Okay, this so is no eight. Number eight is gonna move up two as close as he can to you. Or the orc. So wherever you want him to move. It's Here? Fine. Well, it depends. You may want him. If you want him there instead. Yeah, I don't care. Keep Both are legit movement. Okay. Alright. Then number nine struggles out of his immobilization. Yeah. Then number 10 rushes up to the orc. And attacks for four killing him. I was hoping for a minus two for you. And next round, we move back to strategizing. Now I forget what I was going to say. I said I'd talk about once we're not. Dragon? No, I don't remember now. Oh no, the problem, yeah. The problem we're having. Is we, you can always tell where the next quest is to go, but we got we got a couple we got stuck on. We decided to go back to later, and once we did that, we're like, I don't know, what are we gonna do? So we're like, ah, let's play the lowest scenario we haven't finished yet. 
which ended up being number six. So this was, I don't know, three weekends ago or whatever, four weekends ago. Mm-hmm. We played number six, and then we get to the end, and it's some guy trying to bribe us to kill Jake Zero. Well, we've already done that. Thanks, and I'm like, a long time ago, right? Like, Because we mm-hmm. actually kind of rushed the Jake Zero plot at the beginning, instead of getting distracted by all the undead quests. And I'm like, well, this is lame. And the other thing is, we already killed her. We should at least be able to get the reward. Right? So it just, like, unlocks stuff that we'd already seen. And I'm like, that just kind of, story-wise, is lame. Like, if as an ongoing story as a group for a game that kind of feels like an RPG, it was like, well, I sh- they should have made it so we couldn't even play that scenario. Like, it should have been locked. We should be able to play it on casual if we wanted. But it shouldn't have been an available scenario for campaign play. So one of the things Kat, one of our players, has done is she's taken the scenario book from me. And she's going to make, like, a flow chart. So she's got all the branching paths, so we can try to stick the what's more logical plot paths. But she forgot to bring it last week. So last week we literally went, I want to travel, so we picked the spot on the map and went to it. Now that ended up being the start of the dragon path, which was cool. So that one worked out. So 50-50 chance for picking random scenarios and having them fit the storyline. You good? Oh, you're going to put it in the thing. I can yeah, wait until I good. see it in the thing. I'm good. I have to, uh, I think it's good. Alrighty, we are going to draw. They are moving and attacking at ranged. Okay. And your summon is going to go first. Except he's dead. I got to mark him as dead. Whoops. I I don't even know why I bothered putting him in. Exactly. (laughs) Okay. So I am going to... Oh, we should try to give that to Cat somehow. Right. Okay, so I will attack number 10. Number 10. For four. One, two, three, four. Would be dead. Excellent. You keep pulling them off before I know where to put the points. Because I'm busy doing here. app stuff. Uh, Number eight. Number eight is almost full health. Stun. That's a nice one. Yeah, I can deal with that. Boom. And I hit him for four. That is done for next round. Okay. And then I turn invisible. Okay. That's my card. Cool. Bamf is what I gotta say. Well, the stun one is so shocked he just stands there doing nothing. But then shakes it off. And then number nine just looks around and can't see anything to attack. So just sits there leading us into the next round. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta try to get that link somehow to chat. Set them on Deanna's laptop right now. Is it a right PDF now. or something? No, it's it's a it's a um, it's a scenario tree thing. Oh, cool! Like somebody's already done the work that she was going to do, basically. Gloomhaven scenario. Yeah, basically, someone. It makes sense. Yeah, of it course, makes someone total did sense. it, right? Of course, it does. Oh, geez, you can you can mark them as like unlocked, attempted, complete, blocked, requirements not met. Oh, it's, it's for, like, making your own or something. This is really cool, actually. So it's not even just that it's there. So each of these guys only has one hit point left. Yes, each of them has one hit point left. So I'm it's, taking it's, far it's... too long in this room, though. Yeah, that's true. That's really cool. So it's actually for doing uh, okay. It's for making your own branching path. It's not like it's just a tech tree of all mm-hmm. the different... I was expecting, like, just a tree where you have to find where you're at. That looks awesome. Thank you. And uh, just for people listening on YouTube, um, it did note it. Um, Bob the Naked Mule m- mentioned that that happens with the story regardless, that you get these weird. And it's strange that Isaac didn't block it. And I agree, right? Like, the, the fact you can jump back, it's kind of weird. Like it, it's easy enough to do. All you had to do was give us some kind of party or global thing and make it a requirement or not a requirement, right? Like, haven't completed this yet or have completed this, it's blocked. Uh, Temujin's knowing, I think it leads to one other side thing that's pretty short. Which I think at that point he's talking about the dragons, but maybe he's talking about the chick head. I don't know, if he gives us money, <laughs> we, we could go do the chick head thing. But I think the two scenarios that unlocked we had already done. I don't know, that's what Cat had the book, so I couldn't check. Alright, I think the end is ready. Draw. They're speedy, but they're just looting. You got lucky. Took all the money. I'm invisible gone. too, so. So they don't move and loot where they are. 
basically? No, it doesn't. Yeah, I didn't think so. Six doesn't. Yeah, they loot right where they're standing. Okay. So that disappears. They have no one to focus, so they won't move. Right. All right. Well, well that see, they finally figured out. I'm like, oh, when no one's around, we should collect treasure. I'm not sure if it's in yeah, number six led to something we like number eight or something, and something that was locked, like something blocked we couldn't do. On uh, number eight. Number eight. For two. Dies. Coin. Not there. Yes. All right. Um, Quick turn. Next round. I said nothing exciting. Okay. I got this one. Um, that thing looks awesome. I kind of want to play with it, but then I'll get distracted. <laughs> Bob the Naked Mule points out this room has gone a hundred percent better than last time. Yeah. Nice job. The only I thing feel I'm, like I'm going too slow. She's going slow. She's I'm turning take, through I'm all her cards. A lot of time here. We'll see. Using all her cards. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. So you're at full health. I am. Um, You've used up four of your items already, too. Mm, yeah, but I can get them back. So I'm, I'm actually okay with that. And I still have two healing potions, which is way better than I had mm -hmm. last time I came here. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to summon Lord Radicus now. Because I think I want him with me before I go into Poison Den. Because he was helpful in getting through there quicker. And now might be a good time to summon him. So, but I don't have anything. You could always leave me behind to kill this thing, too, and you go on to the other room. I could, um, but I don't really have anything exciting to do with the bottom half of my card. That's a problem there. I don't want to open the door early because that's going to trigger the poison whether I'm in the room or not. Mm -hmm. So, um, right. Right then. No, she's played before. She knows there's poison in the room this oh, time. Oh, something happens when I open that door. Study ahead. They weren't kidding. Um, it's like a magic ritual. I had to try to find a magic so... ritual soundtrack here. All right. I don't know if I'll be able to find one. Well, sometimes they move to an attack melee. Right? Sometimes so they, they won't range. be able to hit me. If they're ranged, they will. But they'll go after my buddy. Okay. All right. Put in a number. Boom. All right. Bro. They are moving and melee attacking. Is that a move three? Yes, it is. Yeah, I don't like that. It is moving and I should say. No, they. Singular they works. Yeah, it works. All right, so I'm going to move. Close. Mm -hmm. I'm here, but then they can still move up and smash. Yes, they can. But otherwise I'm slowing things down too much. If you summon, though, they're going to attack your summon. Yeah, they're going to attack. Can't kill him, man. Um, so we got one health left. You can always use the top of your card as an attack too. I know. I could walk up to him and swing at him and hit him. That to move and saying the same thing. You could just move up and default attack. But then I won't summon the rat. And you use up the card, right? Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I don't play a mind thief, even on TV. Nope, not even on TV. Not even on TV. You play one on TV. Oh, okay. On gotcha. someone's TV. I'm gonna smack it. I'm gonna smack him. Here comes a miss card, just to rub it in your Screw face. You. He's immobilized. Oh, jeez. Splat. He's eviscerated. Splat. 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 Room one. Done. Deal. All right. Are you next rounding? That was it. Oh, I gotta think for a sec. I have. Well, I'm gonna hit next round on the app because there's not yep. gonna be anything you do interesting in here. I'm going to remember to take some pictures, so when I write about this stuff, for all the people who go to tabletopbellhop.com and read my blog posts. 
Although I should have you guest post this one. Uh, I'm like, I don't know. Dude, Deanna seemed to I'm do this. I'm trying to convince you to write me a guest post. You're heading in the wrong direction. Alright. If you yeah. want to see Deanna's Short stuff on rest. the internet, go to MapleLeafMommy.com. So I don't know how many people watching this stream would care about mommy blogging and stuff, but if you got kids, yeah, parenting, type stuff. It's parenting stuff. Mostly Canadian focus. Yeah. Hence the Maple Leaf. Draw one of these for me so I can determine what you're going to blame me. Yeah, I always blame you. Always. Did I get rid of Radicus? Yes, you did. See? You did. That's how you do it. Oh. Yeah, he's saying, why a short rest? Like, well. Because well, that way you get to pick a card. Yeah. And you get your untap your stuff? Well, there's no untap your stuff. Well, there's nothing to untap. I don't need to heal. Yeah, but this way you get to pick a card. Yeah, you're right. It goes, it's a round either way. It's so a round either won't... way. No, it's not. Because you no, short not. rest at the end of the But time. I lose a card or I lose a card. There's no advantage yeah, there's to no me speeding it up. So you're right. That is what I should have done. Hey, I retconned that. Oh, sure. It's your game. If you want to cheat. I want to cheat. Everyone on the internet gets to see you cheating. But everyone should see you Everyone cheating. will know you're a cheater. Yeah. You got to put a buck into the extra life cheat jar. I'll put two bucks into the extra life cheat jar. <laughs> I'm gonna go bring the cheat jars down. Yeah, go get I brought one. I brought them down earlier. They're over there. Yeah, you don't. You have two bucks on you, though. Well, I'd have to go get my wallet. Oh, and I make terrible chair sound. Terrible, terrible chair sound. But they're in the little bin over there. There you go. I was tidying up earlier. We got extra life cheat jar. The extra life cheat jar's here. And we go. There's a buck. <laughs> oh, boy. So, i got to decide what I want to get rid of. Not the one that turns me invisible, that's for sure. And this, if you run a charity gaming event, this is something you should do. This is one of our biggest money makers every year. Put Let out cheat jars. People pay to cheat. Let people pay a buck to cheat. As long as you're not playing for in a tournament or for money or for prizes. Why the heck not? It's all about fun. I'm going to discard cards. So you long rested? I'm not going to bother putting that rested. in the app. Yeah, it's not as exciting as you might think. Okay, now. Where's the one that was going in? Touch. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So I'm going to move him there so I do five damage. And poison. If you're not already. No, you get poisoned either way. Oh, you get poisoned either way. You just were and, already. And then at the end of the round, you get poisoned if you're not poisoned, basically. Yes. Or take three damage if you are. Or take three damage if you are. Correct. Okay, so. So you're going to take three damage. You're going to take eight damage. No, I'm not. Unless you do something to not take eight damage. I thought this went through. Um, so, okay. I'm going to do that. And also while I'm here, a thanks to Sean, Dark Elf LX in the chat. Sean is my podcast co-host or the host, and I'm the bellhop or whatever you want to call it. It's the two of us that do the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. That's on Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, right now, Eastern Daylight, but in a couple weekends, it's going to be Eastern Standard. Um, we do uh, talk about, we answer one of your questions every, every, pretty much every episode. Every now and then we have a special episode, but we answer a Game of Your Game Night question. I usually try to toss in one review. Uh, lately, I've been reviewing stuff I got at the Origins Game Fair. Uh, and then we do a little week in review recap of what hit our tabletops in the last week. And I keep you honest and correct your typos. Yes. Um, she's, she's my proofreader. Right, you are so going at seven. I had to put it in. Yes. Oh, no, I didn't for this. This doesn't really matter, but I'm going matter. through the door. One, two, three, four, five. This room is real. We get an open door. I don't know where the fancy open doors went. <laughs> Not so fancy open doors. There you go. A cardboard. All right. We got to swap stuff. Oh. Okay, this isn't doing quite what it said it would be. You hurry through the door. A wave of noxious fumes hits your head with full force. 
Your mind reels as you realize some foul magic is afoot. You must stop it. You immediately suffer five damage and gain poison. At the end of each round, you also gain poison. Unless you're already poisoned, in which you suffer three damage. The effect ends once all altars have been destroyed. Each altar has eight hit points. I take five damage. I use this major healing potion to heal five, so you don't have to put it in. Yeah, I'm using this card to move five. And I'm using that as a generic attack on this. So I will do two. Plus. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to. Yeah, D, you don't heal five. What? No, why We're not? poison. Oh, you're right. That sucks. I wasn't That's even okay. watching. I'm just. You're totally up. right. So instead, I'll use the minor one. Why waste the major one? That would take the thing off me. Then I would heal two. There's no Why point. can't I put the objective higher? Yeah, there's no point because I can. Hmm. You're right. I won't bother using either of them. Hey, I think so I might have I found a way for Cat to. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh. To adjust her health. Oh. I see. If you go to the level part, you can put these up. Crazy. Is there a way to rename there. these? Or something, so I can call them. No. It just if they could have different numbers or something. Hmm. I just want to mark them at whatever. All right. Well, I have. To We're take, gonna do a one, I'm two, going three. To take five damage. One, two, three, four, five. Go. I am attacking. This. Yes. Mobilize. Yay! You immobilized it. I do three damage. That's ongoing. going. Slowly modifier. I do three damage to One, it. two, three to the first. Then the um the poison that I had on me comes off because I healed this is a very yes. melee attack. Now you could use your potion. No, but I'm fine. Okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> if you well, do it in I mean, the right I could order. do it in that order. Yes. I could heal now and I could get the five back. Just pointing it out. She can use items at any time during yeah, your turn. Yeah, you know what? I'll do it now. I was going to wait and do it later, but... Eh. One, two, three. So much better. Okay. Stinks in Anything else this round? Or are you done? Hold on. Thing is, I gotta keep attacking every round. Or you have to keep attacking, or else the poison's gonna. Or the poison's gonna get me. It's terrible. I still think this room is I'm very neat. Melee attack, or it's gonna get me. At the end of the turn, it just poisons you, or yes. poisons you and does poisons. three. Poisons. It poisons, and then the next round, if you're still poisoned, if you're still poisoned, it would do three. Yes. Okay, so I actually have one round break. Sort of, yes. Nothing else is attacking me in here. Yes. Okay. So I can. So do you're this. done. Next round. Yeah, yeah. Next round. Okay. I'm going to. I love this room. This just the fact that Gloomhaven has a puzzle room is awesome. You're not wrong. Okay. Punch in your number. Punch in my number. So I guess it doesn't really matter, but oh, I don't think I can hit raw if I don't. All right. I'm going to summon my buddy. Ah, okay. And then I'm going to do That's a cool. ranged attack on this You're one. You're not going to heal if you do that. I know, but I'll only get poisoned. No, you got poisoned at the end of last round. Oh, at the end you of You are poisoned. Damn it. No, that's right. It doesn't buy. See, that's, that's, that's why, why I said, I'm like, it doesn't really buy you it around. It doesn't really buy me around. That's why I said that. I'm I'll like, not three. really. Oh, well, like, I did it. I screwed up. We talked it out, and I did it. So I'll end up... Yep. That's cool. The, the scoundrel scenario is a big puzzle. I noticed the um, sawbone scenario was a, basically a puzzle. So I summon the Rat King, and I'm doing a ranged attack on that altar. Okay. And I do five damage to it. Okay. And, and then at What's the, Rat King's health is nine? Yes.
And then I take three damage at the end of the round. Yes, you do. You're still poisoned. Yep. I will mark that. Your damage didn't go through. Oh, I didn't. I'll do go. it. There you go. That's good. I just didn't I'll click put outside the poison the box. back on. Just so people can see it. Next round. So that one has. The one in front of me has three hit points left? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, no. The one in front of you has five hit points. Okay. That's one, two, three. Yep. Like I said, it. I'm trying to find a way to name them. And I, you can rename characters. I can put its level. Can I do this? Oh, here we go. Let's go with this. O one, O two, O three. 2 0 3 Not that that matters. They're in order anyway. But yeah, that's to fine. then see what I can do. Oh. Yeah, you do that while I put them on my shelf. There's number one. There you go. I'm going so much faster than those altars. Really? I know. Yeah. Really fast, right? Boom. Rat King goes first. That's so you can have him go because he doesn't. They don't have initiative, so. There's number three. Um, he can go over here and finish this one off, hopefully. There's so, number two. There we go. Look at that. King. It's for seven. Rat King destroys an altar! I move to and heal too, which would take poison off. Yes. Um, and then I attack this altar that I am now next to. Oops. Um, for you miss I the miss. altar. How do you miss an altar? But Come I still on. did a melee attack, so I still heal and I get two yeah. points. How do I miss the altar? I slipped in the puddle. Obviously. There you go. I have some for. Hey, I'm trying to heal. Sorry, I was killing the objective. Yeah. I'm done. Next round. Yeah. So, yep, yep, yep. If I take a long rest, bad things happen. Yep, you get round. poison. So, I have to do something because I'm out of cards. Ouch. I could. You could long rest and just take three, and then you'll get two back at the end of the round. Mm -hmm. I know. Light glinted off the altar, blinded and you. And in the meantime, the, the rat would probably finish off another altar over there. Yeah, which isn't so bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Long rest is fine. Yeah, you deal the poison off rest. before it hurts you. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I'm like, you'll get poisoned and then you'll. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna long rest. Um, no, but she's already poisoned. I'm poisoned she would at the heal end it of off, round. not take damage, and get poisoned again. Yeah, that's exactly what would happen. That is exactly the order it yep. would happen in. So I'm long enough trying to try to figure out what card I'm getting rid of. So you are going at 99. I'm not going to bother hitting draw. Yeah. There's oh, no and point. I got it. I got oh, no, because your monster's going to go. Uh, so. My monster's going to go, but. There's not really a reason to hit draw, but yeah, sure. Not really. Oh, um, you didn't put your initiative. I'll do it. 99. Draw. I want to check We'll zoom in. Uh, so the rat goes yeah. before you get this out card again. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> I have to shuffle. Technically. Technically. It goes before you get your long rest. Do, do. Okay. The rat's not on the altar. Find the ley line power cord and shoot through it. All right. I believe in you, Lord Radicus. Okay. And Raddy hits it for four. Destroy. Boom. Oh. Yeah. And then I get rid of this one. Oh, that's interesting. The objective went away when I did the brown. Do I spend a health? No, I, I am taking oh, long, you're long rest. Resting. I'm deciding <laughs> like, to get rid of them, but I'm like, I don't want to get rid of any of them. I need them all. God damn it. You taking pictures? I took a few. But okay. I just realized I'm kind of blocking your draw yep. pile. So, up next. I need to attack this thing in front of me, and Rowdy has to be my one to help out. So, I will do this. Oh, zoom! Yes, this is going much better. So far. Yep. I still have the last room to mess up. Okay. 
number to enter here? You say 99. Oh. Are you getting on the ref? There we go. So I'm going to enter the number. Okay. Oh. The objective goes first. The rat moves three or two? Two, so he's only going to go there. Yep. Yep. And then I am going to attack the altar next to me. I'm currently poisoned from the end of last round. Four. So I hit it for four. It's still there? Yep. Um, it's only taking one square. Yeah, it's right in the middle. It's here. Right. Okay, <laughs> then I'm going <laughs> Just... to move here. Just looks cooler. And hit it again. <laughs> Might as well get closer. Yes. Um, and it's a ranged attack, but I'm not. So disadvantage. So I'm at disadvantage. Disadvantage to attack an altar. Yeah. So it's still ice is infused, and I hit it for five. It's destroyed. So unfortunately, that leaves Rad with nothing to target. Yeah. So sad. Neither of those are used. Okay. Nothing here needs to be reshuffled. Right. One, two, three. I don't think there's anything to read until you open the door. Yeah, no. I'm just got it all up there. Right. Yeah, once you open the door, stuff happens. Yep. No, she used a ranged attack. Right? Both of those are ranged attacks. The second one was the first one. Then you're poisoned. Right, you're yes, you're right. I thought they were both the first one was a melee attack, the second one was a range. That's, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Um, it's our guy in the chair. Yep. I like that. I like that. I... I even gave him a shout out on the blog today. I know. I, I proofread it, so I definitely <laughs> saw it. I don't know if he saw it, but I... we, need to, we need sound captures from um, Spider Man. Oh, wait, I switched the sound effect on. We're done dealing with the spooky magic shit. I'm gonna use my candle. Two items. One being my Oh, uh, good night, Bob. And the other one being. Oh, that's awesome, Bob. Bob just discovered the stream tonight. Awesome. Glad thanks he found so much it. for sticking around. In. Yeah, thanks for sticking around. Hopefully, you haven't taken off quite yet. Again, we may not be streaming next week because Extra Life is on Saturday. We'll have to talk it over with Cat and Tori. Yeah, we got to see what's going on with them because they drive in from out of town. Plus, Sean will be here too, which yep. that's not a bad thing. It just it's a thing. Okay. We might just play something short. Yeah, something we might play something short. We might stream haven. something with Sean. Yep. Okay, so I use that to recover these two items. Then Be I sure to follow, this. Bob. Yes, please. That way you'll get notifications. We do actually stream Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The actual play gaming, though, is so mainly Friday. Thursday is pretty yeah. off the wall. Thur do... Thursday is just Sean, Deanna, and I hanging out online. Because he lives in a far lives, away. Yeah, he lives like three and a half away hours away. Yeah. We've been playing uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, the MMO. Just because we've been having fun with that. And I'm a huge Star Wars nut. And actually, I love that game. So, and, yeah. and it's nice to be able to play three player. I haven't played it in a long time, and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, um, I'm going to get back these two cards I had discarded. Yep. And then, I'm going to... You got an army of spoken chairs. <laughs> I need it. We I have a council. All the help on the, this one. The, the council. The council. Yes, we have a council. I like that, actually. Um, well, Ryan, Ryan Peach yeah. wants that there are hoplites. That's what he thinks we should name all our fans. Our fans are our hoplites. Oh, because the bell hop. Bell hop, the Roman yes. legion thing. Yes. Oh. He, think, he thinks our fans should be called the hoplites. Okay, the, 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 the classicist in me just cringes at that. I don't know. <laughs> okay. You would have thought it'd be a good thing. Oh. You at least know what it means. Hmm. I don't, I'd rather, I kind of like fans, guests, guests fit for I like, hotels. I like the... But it's just, too, or we like to welcome our guests, it's just, eh. Right, sounds like we're having yeah, like, people uh, come talk. Yeah, exactly. Um, 
I don't know. But yeah, when you stay at a hotel, you're a guest. You're a guest. There's no other word for being Not a hotel really guest that I can think patron. of. Patron. But then no. it sounds and like we're talking about Patreon. Like Patreon. Mm. VIP mm. guests, special guests. You know, it's all guests. I don't know. He's the, they're the fans. If they want to be called Hot Flakes, I can't stop them. That's true. He is one of our like bigger fans. He's been a long, around a long time. I guess if he wants to be a Hot Flake, I'm going to be a Hot Flake. I'll send him a little Roman Legionnaire update. There you go. What is that, like a sheet? <laughs> hey, I want, I'm trying to decide I'm going to take two prints. I think I am. I'm going to just move up to maybe start. So I'm not going to bother putting that in the helper. It's not going to be exciting. I have to decide what cards I'm going to throw away. Uh, it's going to be this one, but not that one. Really good. They're all really good. Dear God, what do I do? I certainly don't want to get rid of that turn invisible card. Um, so okay, is well, it as useful now? One. Well, probably. Probably. <laughs> probably. We'll see. I don't know. I think I have to hammer through this at this point. I can't drag it out because I'm going to run out of cards. You could heal too, right? Like you can get all your items back and use the potions before any of it. I know. I don't know if that's worth it. I just got my items back. You were talking. I said it out loud as I did it. I got no, back. I meant the... Uh, don't you have a thing to recover your tapped items? Yeah, I did that. Don't you get a curse for doing that? You're right. Shit, you're right. That's, that's just why. now. It's just now. I just okay. did it. I just did that, it this no, no, round. No, no, that I goes in your deck and gets shuffled, shuffled in. Shuffled into this card. Yeah. Okay. Because um, yes. I had the curse out for no, when you right. did it. You were totally right. I caught you. You caught me. I have to put the I caught you. There and screwed up. Um, no, I was talking about level nine. I don't want to lose anything. No, I don't want to lose anything. Um, yeah, I put a curse in my deck. Now. But I and got props it. to Wizards of the Coast for making skeletal orc figures back in the day. Well, yeah. I love skeletons that aren't just humans. Because anytime you fight undead, it's always human skeletons. Right? I'm like, cool there are so many things. fantasy races out there. Why are all the skeletons always human? So I collect those. I have skeletal dwarves, I have some skeletal gnolls. I don't have a lot of them, they were hard to find. I love skeletal, non-human skeletons are awesome. Okay. Like, can you imagine a necromancer and warhammer going so, to the moot to raise his army? These It'd be two awesome. cards are getting used, and I'm going one, two, three. All right. That was exciting. I probably should have zoomed in for two and a half seconds there. For two and a half seconds there. And now, now we're going to do the actual exciting thing and open the door. Which that one be, you're going to have to put in your... Uh, yep, I'm going with that one. I'm all the way into that door. Okay. There we go. How do I know what to expect? Raw. We have an elite Vermling Scout, and it doesn't really matter what number he is, but he is number six. Oh, you haven't opened the door yet. Yeah, I am. Do I'm your, opening the door. Here, let me zoom. Oops, I... Let's do everything in the proper order here. Here. Firmling Scout number six. So I have three movement. With my first move, I will open the door. But he is one level lower. So we gotta knock him down. Oh, he's already a four. Okay, cool. And then Shaman number. Where did they go? Put him right in front of Six and five. No, no, why'd you go up there? Yeah, okay, they just jump to the top. Make sure they are showing that level 5. On the door right now. Yeah, that shows 5. Does that show 5? Five? 5. You're not poisoned anymore. We took care of that. Alright. They're doing the exact same thing they did last game. They're going to move and disarm you, which is pretty horrible. And I think it was here and here. Keen on it. Is that right? So... Right in the point and right there. That far back? Yep. Ooh. And coughing and retching, you push into the suspicious alcove and find three more Vernling in deep meditation, giving you just enough time to recover from the fumes before they wake and begin to move towards you menacingly. How did that not happen last time? I think I forgot to read it. Great. Like, this only Special rules. The second time you when all vermlings are dead, read three. Great. Okay, so where are these other vermlings popping up? Those are the other vermlings. 
Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, I thought... Never mind. Just because I don't remember which person it was said that some other monster was going to be attacking me and I was waiting for something. Um, okay, so this is... So I can't back up. I guess it's the number one. Okay. I attack number six. Number six. The elite scout. I attack number three. And I miss. There's that There's curse. curse. And then I'm going to do this bird. So I'm attacking number three. Six. Do you yeah. have your Vika dude that's cloaked? Because that would instantly kill me. It doesn't work on elites. Those are no. Yeah, then it's gone. I burned it in the first room. It's a one time use. Yeah. So. Um, it's good when you have guys all grouped together. Yeah. So. Okay, so on number six. For three. And then on Shaman number six. Yep. Five. Takes two. He's got a shield of three? Yes. Oh. Always or just yes, as well? Always. I oh, told you that when they came up last I'm sure time. You did. That's I why was... I said you want to pull him into the traps. The I shields know. don't work. I know. <laughs> God, he died. Okay. Hmm. Wow, that's terrible. Uh, ice is infused. Dagger. Yeah, but that would imply... Do you even have a way to use ice? <laughs> um, I do. There's a couple things that if I have yeah. ice, it uh, stuns. All right. And if it's not... Or here, like this, would do plus two attack if ice was on. Oh, okay. Or, you know, there's a couple. I just don't... This one, it stuns. You, uh, we didn't them. do this. No, because there was nothing for him to look at. Oh, before your turn started? Right, exactly. I opened the door on my turn okay. before then he would yep. move. Um, so I'm going to turn invisible. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. Oh, yeah. Especially with them disarming. Exactly. And they do not go after the rat because and there's an obstacle in that doorway. Yep. So they cannot possibly focus on attacking the rat. That's my bad thing. That's Because if I you wish... had backed up, they would have come forward. But if I backed attack. up, I wouldn't have been able to target him. Yeah. And the movement had with... to happen in that order. All right. So with the I wouldn't have been able to hit anyway. one guy. Yeah, but well, I did hit him. Yeah. I just didn't hit him for enough. Fair. Um, I gotta, I gotta kill him eventually. So these are used to. So, oh, next round. As they fumble around. Yeah, I don't know. Having them come forward might have been nice. Yeah, it would have. Then you could have done your push. <laughs> I don't know if you have the push. No, well. I don't know. I have to discard that, get it back, the whole thing. I don't Plus, know. I don't know how much they were matter. moving up. It's not they were moving did. three. They would only move up to, yeah, that guy would have moved to there, and this guy would have moved to uh, here or here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I have to, I have to, um, I have to rest, and I might as well make it a long rest, because yes. I'll just sit there and be invisible. Which means they're not going to move again. Yeah. So I don't, we have to put it in so their cards get used up. Right, because you don't know, they might draw something and yes. summon or whatever yep. the hell. Uh, I'm just going to decide what I'm getting rid of on my long rest. So you're doing 99? Yeah, rest. and my rat will move up yes. now. So draw. Slowly because of the stupid water. So they, one, we're just going to attack melee. Is that attack 15? Or is that attack 6? I can't see. Better not be attack 15, I quit. So I can't see well enough. Use the stupid app on me. I can see it on my phone. Oh, it's a six. It's back six poison, but they weren't going to move. So the goat wasn't going to move anyway, so nothing there happens. The other ones are going to move too. They don't go after the rat. The rat can't move up because the rat can't focus, Steve. Why not? Because I'm an obstacle in the yes. door. But I thought allies don't count as obstacles. We looked this up before. Invisible allies? I don't know. No, I guess you don't. Yeah. He's only going to go there, because that's... I thought he moved three. He moves two. Oh. I mean, okay. I like your version better, but... I thought it was three. 
No, my other rats, I upgraded him. Like, I paid to up the card. This one I haven't. Um, like, he's never getting up there. That's you can choose to discard and lose your augment in case it's no longer useful. So I think it is. I know. It's what lets you I heal. know it could go over here. Well, you could do it before you long rest and you get it back. And you can use the bottom of it. Well, the bottom is the one that lets me uh, oh. push. Huh. Pushing into the it's middle. close. It's so close. This now, guy, if you move here, you can push him. Out. Yeah, he doesn't have a shield on No, he doesn't so have a shield. But so these are obviously set up to pull them into those traps. Well, it's the bottom, too, so I'm only going to move three. One, two, three. It's not like I can move like, If you could move, if you had the boots, then... I told you, the boots. <laughs> Plus two boots. Ugh. I don't know. Did I get rid of that one? I did. Damn. I'd like all my cards back, please. Hmm. Okay, I want to do that. Then the next turn is these. So I am not very good at this one. Hmm. Is that done? Did you drop them? Not yet. I'm like a big C D initiative. You're right? faster. They are healing the shamans, which kind of sucks for you. Yeah, it does. I am, uh... Though they don't hurt you, which I guess isn't terrible. I guess. But um, that one's about to heal up the damage you took. And the post. Okay, well, at the start of my turn... Cup cost, but... Let's go to move up to. Can you move your rat for? No, I... It's in here. Ooh, I got rid of it. Ouch. He had to be within three of me for it to work, too, so I know, it's... just with all this water? I know. The rat, some of your rats swarm. You don't have those anymore? That's what I got rid of to be uh, able to heal and move. <laughs> That's distracting. I didn't, uh, I didn't end up summoning it last time, so yeah. I don't know. I thought it out. Um... Just trying to set it on. Right in here. Well, I'm not invisible anymore. Start with that. I don't know. Alright, so I will attack this fella. For three. Run. And I will attack number six. Do two damage and he's gone. Come on. For three. You do none. Yeah, I'm aware. Pink. Can't get past his shamanic magic shield. Mm -hmm. What's this guy doing this He is running up and hitting you for five. Mm. I think that's five. Yep, that's five. Uh, you know what? Alright. It's a ten. Oh! I'm not even gonna open it. For four. Keep, keep going, rolling my fire. He's stunned. Keep going. 
And I miss. <laughs> but he's stunned. He won't he's heal stunned. himself this round. No, the other one heals him. Oh, the other? Uh, yeah. There's no distance? No, it's okay. it's range three. Oh. The, the other one's going to heal he's him. He's four away. Doesn't matter. He moves. Mm-hmm. If you hadn't moved in, maybe he wouldn't move close to the other guy. I wanted to kill him. You should have, but you had to draw that miss. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Okay. Alright, so number five is gonna move into melee with you and then heal him through. See if you hadn't moved up, it might have worked. But if I hadn't moved up, I wasn't close enough to be able to yeah. target him. Then number six is stunned, his stun goes away. And this guy is just going to smack you for six. Uh, so, I've never had a shield before, so you that is cool. just tap it and you take five. Okay. Can you just do five damage on it? Oh, he, I'm wrong. What? He heals the scout. He heals the scout? Because he's closer? It's not great, but I'm actually okay with it. The scout doesn't have a fucking shield. It's true. Thank you, whoever gave Mo that piece of information. Alright. You damaged me? No. I said, could you please give me the five damage? How much is it? Five? Yeah, because I have shield one. And you said it was six, right? So minus one. Yep. Next round. Okay. Oh hey, ice isn't used right now. Okay. Both of those stats don't use ice. Um and that matters. Okay. They're faster than you. No way. Yep. That's not a lot of What are they doing? They're moving and attacking you with a muddle. And immobilizing you. Crap. Wow. Wow. So, number five is yep. here. We'll back up. Because he wants to arrange attack. And he's going to attack you for two. You're muddled and immobilized. Then number six is going to sit right there. Are you done with that one or do you? No, I have to I have to take two. Um, the shields are used up and uh, I have to take two. Okay. Then the other one's gonna attack you for six. Oh. Muddled and immobilized. Turn a card. No cards in your hand? I have to both of these. Ouch. And there's where you lost. I forgot to zoom in. That has been turn. Well, I have these cards that I revert. I just have to get both of these in there. But then I don't have. Like, there's no way. No rats have to go. Just put them Over. You could lose these. I know I could. Well, this one doesn't. This could go in there and I could lose that. But that's a rat, right? That's a rat. This one I could. This one goes here, this one goes there. I could lose this. But the rat's not even going to get up there. No, it's not. Up, so. It's over. In one round. Yeah, because I have one more turn, right? Because I'm going to have to lose these two cards. And I use those. I put them in the discard. I have two over there. And I don't even get one more go out of that. Right? Is that math out? Um, Do you want to finish it out or just call it? It's a thing. Fudge, I'm very frustrated. Hmm. 
Next time, grab all the money in the first room. We should get something. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Well, don't you, you lose two cards randomly, don't you, or do you pick? Oh, uh, well, when there's only two in your. Uh... No, because you're putting a third one. In well, there. yeah, yeah. Hmm. Right. Okay. I'll do it that often. I think that's random. I don't know. When you lose two cards for taking damage from your discard, is it uh, random or pick? Yeah, randomized. Ooh, it doesn't matter. I'm going down anyways. Let's just finish this up. See? You do get the pick. Oh, I do get the yeah, pick. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Right? <laughs> but yeah. So matters. I'm obviously... When you get this turn. You're going to kill all three of them this turn, right? Yeah, the problem is then something else may happen. Uh, that, <laughs> that's my... I've already thought this out, and that's the problem. Yeah. All right. You get to use the wind. Your rat goes splish splash. Yeah. It's taking a bath. That freaking water. Um, yeah, the ice. I know. I was actually going to use the ice and stun the guy. I'm immobilized. I'm not going anywhere. I'm muddled. Yeah. Which gives me disadvantage. disadvantage. But I'm swinging at him. He's almost full health now, so. Yeah. So, muddled. So I do three, and I will use up the you ice. You use the zero, him. right? Yeah, I use the zero to do, yeah. to do three. Yeah. And he's stunned, and then I turn invisible. Woo! Oh yeah. Hmm. That was exciting. Those are both started. And next round, Shh. you even have two cards. Oh yeah. I have to get rid of one of these. Doesn't matter at this point. Yeah, I'm long rest, rest because I'm invisible, so it doesn't matter. Though they could you fucking heal themselves back. again. Yeah, <laughs> I might as well long rest. I'll get my shield back. And, Your rat will uh, move in. I'll heal too, and my rat will move closer. And yep, so, yep. So I take a long rest. Nine nine. Bra. They are going first. Yeah, I'm at 99. Range shot three, going for. range four, it's you, number five. Are you move up on my ratty? Yeah. Range four. One, two, three, four. So he's going to move to here, then attack your rat for the seven. <sighs> no, it's a two. Okay. Thank you. For three to your rat. And it's muddled and disarmed. You want me to put yeah, that just on do here? the three. Oh, muddle, disarmed. And the other one. He's only moved three. It's going to move to here. One, two, three, four. Three, four. It can't actually hit your rat. See so if you ever push now. Look at this. You can push both in the pits. So let you push two. And the scout is stunned. Uh, it's uh, stunned. Right here. Hmm? I pushed yeah. right here. Then your rat moves two at the yes, door. It let me push. Oh, look at that. You're in the perfect spot. First, they both be dead. Phenomenal. Next round. Uh, yeah. So I guess I'll Oh, I didn't zoom one. there. Oops. I heal too. Yep. The your sun taps. comes back. Why didn't she use the poison dagger? Because I wasn't thinking. I should have. I did melee them at one point. Yep. I was mostly not meleeing, uh, aside from meleeing against the altars, which uh, in this room back here I was doing uh, ranged attacks. And your rat is no longer muddled and poisoned and yeah. whatever. I do okay. Not that it could That was the slight disadvantage. Oh. Oh, this is it. You have two cards left. Yeah. That's not good. Uh, yeah. No. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Draw for the final round, and of course the you're still invisible at this point, or no? No, at the end of the last round. Yeah, so you're no about to get swarmed. Invisible. Oh, they actually go before me. Yes, those suckers. And they're cursing you and targeting two, so they're going after all of you. Wow, these scouts are nasty. Can't even at least get a last swing in. Come nope. on. So number five. The shaman we'll back is up. nasty. Yeah. And then he's going to attack you. For two, and you're cursed, and you're muddled. <coughs> wow. Then he's going to attack your rat for two, 
who is cursed and muddled. Okay, so I take two, Rat takes two. You doing it? Oh, okay. Do that. Hold on. One, two, and. One, two, okay. You get a couple of those. You're going to get a couple more of those. So. Excellent. And then he's going to back up and do the same thing. So on you, for one damage, on the rat, three. So. And two more of these. And on me, you said one. I think you said it was one on me. Yes, one on you and three on the rat. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. Four curses in my deck. <laughs> and you're muddled. So the odds of drawing them are pretty high. Yeah. Oh my gosh, these shaman are awful. Yep. These are pretty Holy cow. I don't even know what the hell I could have done different. I don't know. They like said I think you'd be coming and mobilizing the doors so they can't move up might have been bad, but I'd say if it was I had been be back, hard. if I had been back further and they and, uh, and then they would have targeted my rat and moved up. <laughs> hey no problem, Tamujin. Sorry it didn't end up on a happy note. Thanks for the stream. Have fun at extra life. Yeah, I know, we're done at this Yeah, point. we're done. I don't know if you can call extra life fun. <laughs> like it's, yeah, for us it's a lot of work. It's actually. a lot of work. <laughs> It's a lot of work. Oh. Oh, I'm trying um, to. I should have let it finish. So, uh, so my finish it. at the my rat will move up, or did you already move him up? No, the rat's gonna actually attack something. Ooh, it's very exciting. Here he goes. Whoosh. Except his he now only does like one damage. No, no, try one. another one. Oh, it, that's right. It, Is my rat muddled? Oh no, it would have went away. So no. So he yep. does one damage. One. Oh, oh sorry, two. two. Two, he kills it. Oh, amazing. So much closer. Can you at least get a coin out of this? <laughs> so you get something to show for it. Because you haven't even picked up a coin yet. Yeah. And you. Yep. Okay. Well. Neither of these guys have been damaged. Yeah, this the one's one, at two. One's been the one's almost dead. You can't get any more disadvantage. Like, no. if I have disadvantage and muddle, I yeah, don't... Yeah, it's just disadvantage. So I'm just disadvantage. The one's only at two health. So, Number I'll six. move up here. And I will... I will attack. I will attack. Number six. He's immobilized. And no, because he would just be immobilized. I wouldn't get the plus two. That's how that works, right? Yeah. So I will do nothing. Oh, uh, you did two. Just the plus two happens. You ignore the rolling monster. Oh, just the plus two happens. So I yes. do five. You killed him. Oh. I don't have to bother using a fairy to stun him. And I'm just wondering, why did you move here and at least get a coin? That's all. I didn't want it. Um, right. I did it in the wrong order. I needed to range attack him, but it's the same difference. So I do three, which is Nothing. zero, which is not enough. Yep. I could have eleventh houred it. Yeah, could you might have. Pull, if I Except something pulled, else is going to happen. Yeah, if I <laughs> pulled, I don't know. Which I think Timujin knew, knew that. Something it's like, amazing. I'm, I'm not even going to yeah, look at what's exactly. going to happen. I intentionally dodged all the money. That was my perk. I would have got two, for picking up no coins, I would have got two uh, check marks. Not that it matters, because I died, but I was intentionally dodging the coin. Because I never get perks, and it would have been enough to unlock uh, the next one. Yeah, but if you knew you were going to lose, why wouldn't you grab the coin at the end? <laughs> you know, uh, you get the perk anyway. It didn't matter. All right. I was trying. I was trying to, like, at that point, yeah. I'm like, uh, All right. that was, I don't even know. Two failures. God darn it. Huh. I went played it better. as smart as I could. It went better. It went Some better, of it's luck it of the slow. draw, too. Some of it is luck of the draw. And I was slow in that. You were room. really slow in that first room, so you were hurting for cards. Even, and you got with, hit. My, even with my getting the cards back. But you got hit really bad when you had to discard two cards there, too. Yeah, I know. That was a and rough that was, hit. I should have played it safe and used my healing potion. 
I turned and I didn't, and yeah. I wouldn't have had to throw up those two cards. That's back. a big difference. And that would only give you one more turn. Right? Would it give me one more turn? So what happens? So you want the spoiler? I want the spoiler. You want the spoiler. So you're not even actually supposed to read these, though. Oh. Even though it says study the scenario ahead of time, so I don't know. Like the threes, it specifically says don't read. Oh, well, then it don't says read. when all vermins are dead, read this. Like, I, am I? Yeah. Opinion? But then it says study these scenarios. So I don't know. It, it's such a mixed bag. I have no idea. No idea. So maybe. I'm not going to read it out. But yes, an elite earth demon spawn. Okay, so there is something else to and find. It at that has point. double hit points. How the hell are you supposed to get through that with one character? Do you have anything that instantly kills an elite? Nope. Like I do? No? No. Nope. Because I'm like, save I that can, for the Earth Demon. I can instant kill. Like, maybe there's cards I didn't take. I can't take them now. You know, yeah. like, the, you the ones I didn't kill an choose. Elite, save that for the Earth Demon. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I don't know what an elite Earth Demon at level 5 has, but it has double those hit points. Wow. It's an elite Earth Demon. So let's see. Oh, let's spawn it. Just to see what would happen. So he would have had 24 hit points. Which I saw earlier. Kill I can one do. normal target. 17 plus 17 is 24, or is that 34? 34 hit points. Jeez. 34 hit points. So yeah, you can go in and you can go above max hit points. You gotta go to the crown. Hmm. So you figured out how to do it. Kinda like that. So I think Kat can do that on her turn. On hers. So I think she could go in and give herself a max of 24 hit points. She clicked here. Yep, she could. Yep. I just gave it change the max to twenty four on your mind thief. So it can be done. I, I like that. Change my max to points to twenty four. That's good. <laughs> so yes, it can be so, done. So uh no, I don't have anything new automatically for me. Yeah. I don't Alright, so know. that was now two tries at the Mind Thief solo scenario rodent liberation. The rodents are not liberated. They will stay enslaved forever. Forever. The rumors of giant five foot long rats in the sewers are highly rumored. Rumored. <laughs> highly suspicious. Fueled by drunken revelry. Not lying in fact. I have no idea. All right. I'm even looking at the cards like I can't go back and take these. The ones I yeah, didn't pick when I leveled up. And I don't I don't know, see... the invisibility seemed to work way better. Oh well, yeah, I mean the invisibility. Though I still wonder in the first room if you should have just ran to the corner so only one guy could attack you to save it for later. But... I don't know. Don't know. Alright, so we're gonna wrap it up. Oh yeah, so done. So we are done. Um Deanna doesn't have very many final thoughts. No. Did better this time. Way yeah, better than last time. Sadly was better. I still wonder about summoning the rat king in here. I think you could just slowly melee them all. Death. I was trying to speed it up because it felt like it was so slow in the first yeah. room. So I, I was know. like... Because if you didn't summon him until he's in here... Oh, yeah. Instead of him having to swim through all this crap... The thing is... Or you keep the move six. You can get him through it yourself. Yeah. He'll only move when he has a target. But you got to do it in the right time. You just got to save that card for once the door's open. Yeah, the door has to be open. I also have to... Okay. I have to be within three of him. Yeah. And he has to have a target. So it's it, that's kind of tight. Or the don't summon is, him until you're, like, here, so he goes after this thing instead yeah, of the like other I two. Yeah, like, can't summon so him like, into the water. No, but, like, summon, summon him here. Or stand here and summon him here next to the thing. Yeah, and then he's that next much closer. Next to the altar, and then he's that much closer, and right. then let him do that altar. I'm standing here, and I summon him here. He still has to move. Um. But then he's close to you to give and, him the move yeah, three yeah, as well. No, you're right. The thing is... He's only huge until it's based on his hit points. Once yeah, he gets he hit, he's weakened, damage. right? But if he can soak some of those hits. But I also have that one card, though it is a burn card, that uh, an ally can do an attack six. Yeah, see, that would be good. Near the end. But he has to be adjacent to me. Like, there's a lot of, you know. And I was saving that, thinking I would do that. Yeah. But then he got bogged down way back there, and I'm like, oh, that is not working. Alrighty. Yeah. So, know. that was a failed attempt at scenario Mind Thief Solar. I always want to say scenario number. There isn't one for this. No. Uh, so, I for Tabletop shame. Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzno of the Tabletop Bellhop. This is my wife, Deanna, who just tried two times to beat the shame. Mind Thief Solo Rodent Liberation scenario and failed. Um, hope you've watched both of these. Hopefully, someone out there is playing a Mind Thief and we've given you insight on how to do better. Yes. 
learned how not what what not to do. Uh, big thanks for those of you who were in our chat room tonight. You guys were fantastic. Uh, you guys helping us out. You were our guys in the chairs or guys and gals in the chairs, folk in the chair. Uh, Bob the Naked Mule, Tamujin, and I know there was another name for the first stream, and I apologize for getting it off the top of my head. But thank you very much for joining us and pointing out when we do do things wrong because it's Gloomhaven and you and missed lots Bob of little things. Bob so wasn't wrong. I should have grabbed all the money. At yes. least I could have got rich, filthy rich. Bob did tell you to grab all the money. At least you get something out of it. <laughs> Boudet RPG was there. Boudet was good. He just encouraged. He was there. He was a cheerleader. They were our cheerleader. I apologize. I, I apologize for assuming gender. Day After Day Gaming. That was the other name I, I was trying to remember, who actually knew the game. Yep. Um, so yeah, thank you all. Uh, for those of you watching this, if you're still around or you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to hit the thumb, like, heart, whatever. Give us uh, give us props if you like what Come you saw. Come back next time when we may actually win a scenario. Yeah, we do win Gloomhaven now and then. Uh, join us Friday nights, 8.30 p.m., where we stream something, usually Gloomhaven, sometimes something else. You can also join us Wednesday nights when Sean, Dark Elf LX, in the chat room and I record the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, where we answer your gaming and game night questions. If you've got a gaming-related question you want an answer to, send that to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. One final thing that I would really appreciate is if you headed over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and considered tipping the bellhop team. For Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo. Good night. Night. Game on. We could have just hit it. <laughs> <laughs>